Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 81. That is, what is spillover in Agile Scrum? Let me answer. In simple words, spillover is nothing but the work that is not completed by the end of the sprint. Even though the sprint is completed, if there is some work that is left out, that left out work is known as spillover, guys, in simple words. But if I have to explain in detail, I have to go with the basics like there are several SDLC models, right? In, a, in different projects follow different SDLC models, like waterfall model, V model, RAD model, and so on. Agile SDLC model is one of them. Under Agile SDLC model, there are several methodologies like Scrum, Kanban, and so on, extreme programming, and so on. Scrum is one of the methodology of Agile SDLC. So especially if your project is following the Scrum methodology of this Agile SDLC model, in that case, the work will be done in the form of sprints, okay? So iterations will be there. Iteration one, iteration two, iteration three, and every iteration incrementation will of the software development or testing will happen, right? So that iteration duration will be generally one to four weeks. So that is nothing but a sprint, right? Sprint is nothing but the iteration, which is having a duration of one to four weeks. So for that one to four weeks, some work will be assigned in the form of stories, okay? If your project is following this Scrum methodology as part of Agile SDL's model, in that case, the work will be divided into multiple portions, like that is iterations, guys, okay? The first, after first iteration is done, second iteration will be done, then third iteration and so on. That iterations are nothing but sprints. So by the end of the each sprint, that is each iteration, some work need to be completed. That work is nothing but stories, right? Stories will be assigned by the product owner to the sprint. And the team, agile team has to work that these developers and testers have to complete these stories by the end of the sprint. That's what is the thing. But if any case, okay, if any situation happen where by the end of the sprint, that is a uh, sprint can be one week to four week duration, right? By the end of that one to four weeks, whatever that duration that is decided for this project as part of the sprint, if there is still work is pending, okay? By the end of the sprint also, some work is not completed. That uncompleted work is known as spillover, okay? Within that sprint, the work has to be completed. If there is some left out work, after the end of the sprint also, if there is a left out work, which is not completed by the team as uh, estimated or so, that left out work is known as spillover in simple terms. And in detail explained. So what are the reasons why, why, the left, uh, why the work will be left over by the end of the sprint? What may be the reasons? There are many reasons, guys, okay? There are many reasons. But for example, I listed down three reasons here. So one of the reason may be more work than the capacity, okay? If there are like five to six people and uh, they can do this much of work, but if you overburden them and assign them more work, okay? If someone is assigning more work and the team has overcommitted the work, okay? They decided to come, uh, work on that uh, overcommit, I mean, uh, that overburdened work they have taken up. They committed to complete that over uh, capacity work within that sprint, which will not be possible, right? Uh, so within that sprint, uh, if someone is assigning you more work, that will not happen, okay? That may be one of the reason for spillover. Second reason will be uh, during the project, guys, during that particular sprint, that uh, one week to four weeks, let's say two weeks is a sprint duration, there is 10 working days. In the 10 working days, you have estimated the work and you have, with, within the capacity, you have accepted the work and you are working on that. But during that period, uh, there came some extra discussions between the different team members, developers, testers, and business. Some discussions came because of which some modifications happened, okay? some more feedback we got in the form of a change request or something, okay? Extra work we got in the form of feedback. So that extra work will add to the spillover, okay? Some 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 uh, some situations that extra work also, the team will complete. But in some situations, despite of doing the hard work and all, if the team is not able to fulfill the, uh, complete the work by the end of the sprint because of this uh, unplanned work coming in the, uh, coming between, between the sprint, in between the sprint because of that extra feedback or extra changes happened during the discussions between the team. Okay, that also is another reason for spillover. And other thing is that the team has worked. Okay, the team has worked on uh, as per the estimations and all the capacity and all is very good and the team has worked. But due to some XYZ reasons, the team was unable to, okay, uh, unable to come, uh, I mean, uh, uh, get these stories accepted by the business, okay, or some other, things, okay, due to some XYZ reason, the stories are not completed. They have given their 100% and they have done the work also, but the stories, the work has not been accepted by someone. There is a product owner or something during the review or whatever it is, uh, the work has not been completed. That is definition of done for this particular stories is not done because of some XYZ reason. 
if it is not done again this pending things pending work will will go into the spillover only right spillover it's nothing but the spillover these are the different reasons for a spillover guys there may be other reasons also the major reasons uh, causing this spillover in agile scrum methodology sprints these are the examples okay we have more reasons for the spillover also so hope guys you got the answer for what is spillover in agile scrum so that's all for this session the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye